Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will take nice photos of some products and photos will be in Memphis style. If you are wondering what is Memphis style and what's this colorful scene behind me, stay tuned. You will definitely love it. First of all, let's take a look how it all started. In early 80s, Italian designer and architect founded Memphis, a group of artists and designers who became known for their bright and bold furniture design. So it started in architecture and furniture design, but this style quickly found application also in textile industry and art. Now let's talk about the main features of this style and how can you recognize it. I am sure if you would see it, you would definitely capture it. The Memphis style is identified by a few key characteristics. First of all, it's a flat vectorized style that is often accented with bright, saturated color choices. Then geometric shapes are the primary art elements. Then we can talk about colors. Every color used in Memphis design is typically bright and almost with a neon quality to it. In Memphis design you don't find any tints or tones. Colors here are used to invoke strong emotions of joy and happiness and encourage interaction and engagement for viewers. I would like to use this style in product photography because I just definitely like it and I think it's great when you want to catch the viewer's eyes. So I will take some photos of nail polish and a kitchen bowl. So let's begin. I will use bright background because I don't want to break the first rule, the bright colors. To achieve a lot of colors in frame I will use colored papers. This is basically the first thing product photographer should have because colored papers are really universal. I also want to create some shapes and stripes which are inseparable part of this Memphis style. I will make my own patterns in Photoshop. To get the interesting and bright colors, you can use some color palettes which are available online. Find what you like the best and print some A4 pages of stripes and colored papers. I use them to wrap some objects which will be part of my composition. So now to the camera settings. I'm using Sony Alpha 7S2 and camera was set to tripod all the time. And here you can see how I set the exposure for each photo. Now let's take a look at post-processing. I edited my photos in Lightroom, but I also use Photoshop to make some corrections. Here you can see some photos before and after editing. Well, what do you think about this photoshoot? Was it pleasant for your eyes? Would such a product photography convince you to buy the product or do you prefer moody colors? Let me know down in the comments. For now, I hope you'll have a great day and see you in the next video.